welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Ayla Quinn, and this is the Local Roundup. With all the camper and bear encounters in Durango, you might want to listen up. Here are some helpful tricks to avoid conflicts. As always, keep your garbage in a secure location. After you're done barbecuing, let your grills burn off a couple minutes so the smell of your delicious burgers doesn't attract the bears. Keep your fruit trees harvest and don't let the fruit get too ripe. And make sure your neighbors are on the same page about being bear aware. Living in a mountain town, you are bound to run into some wildlife along with beautiful views. In a recent poll, Durango has been voted number three in the top 100 best small towns in the U.S. by livability.com. We are sure lucky to live where we live. Taking the top two spots were in New Hampshire and New Mexico. But props to Durango's for beating out Aspen. Cortez is stepping up its game when it comes to skateboards. For all you concrete skaters, there's a new shop in town. Colorado Skate Collective features boards, arts, and apparel. While small business futures look bright, the hemp industry looks a bit hazy. Hemp testing is going into its second year of the growing season. And the big questions are, how profitable could marijuana's non-intoxicating cousin be? And will hemp become a boom for farmers or just start in boutique products? The research continues. Today on FourCornersTV.com, Rachel takes in a drag show, and this one has no racing. Huh? You might want to buckle up for this trip to Identity Inc. in downtown Farmington. And get ready to go fast and stay inside the cones. Vehicles of all types and drivers of all levels gather in an empty McGee Park. This could be the chance you've been waiting for to squeal those tires on your minivan. Thanks for watching the local roundup on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Ayla Quinn, and we'll see you tomorrow.